Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we're going to hook up a couple of servos to an IMU through the Jetson TX-1. Let's get started. Let's go over the wiring first. So out of pin 1 we have 3.3 volts coming to the power rail here. This power rail then goes to VCC on the PWM board. We have a ground on J21 pin 6. It comes to this ground rail and that also goes to the PWM board. And then we have SDA which is on pin 27 of J21. Comes over, goes into the PWM board. And then pin 28 which is SCL comes over and goes into the PWM board. This is on bus one of the I2C bus on the Jetson. We then take those signals and run them down the board here. We bring power across and the ground across because we're going to do something nearly magical. We're going to put a USB connector here and use this as a place to bring a signal over to our IMU board. The IMU board is wired similarly. There's basically power and ground rail and the SDA is on this blue wire, SCL is on this yellow wire. Also has a corresponding mini USB plug. Oops. Plug that in. So all we need is a cable which I happen to have right here. You probably recognize it if you have a Jetson. It's USB to mini USB. So it gives us some flexibility in tilting the IMU around. These servos are connected to the PWM board. On the second pin here, we have the top servo and the bottom servo is on the first pin. and the servos run off of six volts. So we plug that into an adapter to give us a little extra juice to drive the servo. So one of the applications for this type of setup is that you have an IMU that runs on a camera gimbal. The gimbal senses the position of the IMU and compensates the servos accordingly so that the camera remains stable. Some of the camera gimbals use servos, but more than likely they have brushless gimbal motors now. They're smoother and quieter. Let's start the Jetson up and start installing the software. Let's load up our software for the demo on the GitHub Jetson Hacks repository, we have a repository named RTIMULive. Let's grab that address. We're going to git clone that repository. Let's take a look at it. Linux, it's in the Jetson TX1 demo GL folder and then we're going to use Qt to open up our little project here. 
It asks us to configure the project. Do that. Now we're going to build it. All done. Issues? No issues. That's good. So let's run our program. It's in this output directory. And we need to run sudo for permissions. Hmm, that's not promising. So the way that this is set up is the yaw is this axis. So when I rotate it, that's how you get the rotation. And then the roll is the top of the platform. The pitch does not have an axis. There's no servo associated with it, so it doesn't change. So here's a visual aid. So this is the red axis here. The blue axis is the yaw. The red here is the roll. Kind of gives you a feel for what it looks like. As I said, the pitch doesn't do anything because there's no servo associated with it. 